a day for life is celebrated each year. Uh, it was begun by Pope John Paul II and it has been continued under Pope Benedict XVI. The bishops of Scotland, Ireland, England and Wales, we worked together on the Day for Life and we picked the theme this year because of the economic recession and all the difficulties that people are finding in their own personal lives at this time. We took uh, this year the a reflection by Pope Benedict when he was on the, his visit to England in which he raised the question of what is happiness uh, and he came up with the uh, statement that happiness really is to be found ultimately and only in God uh, and it is we find it in God because we realize that we are known by God and we are loved by God and we are loved by him and known by him for who we are not for any other reason of what we have or what we possess or what we achieve or whatever. It's extremely important for the times that we live in because we're living through very difficult uh, circumstances for very many people. And there is a grave danger nowadays that people will feel uh, disconnected, disconnected from themselves, uh, disconnected from any hope in life, and ultimately disconnected uh, from God. And what that uh, prayer and that piece by Blessed John uh, Henry Newman is saying to us is that God knows us and God loves us and he loves us for who we are and not for what we have and because he loves us and has always loved us uh, we have a deep hope the hope that we have comes from the fact that we are known by God uh, loved by God and that we are and that once we try to uh, fulfill and live out uh, God's plan for us then we are secure in our knowledge of God's love for us. I think it's extremely important to celebrate a day for life each year because it links back to what uh, Pope John Paul II uh, spoke about during his life. He always talked about uh, the, the gospel of love uh, and a civilization of love. And the day for life really tries to uh, create, support and continue uh, that whole notion that all of us Christians have a duty to create a civilization of love. And that civilization of love uh, is a civilization where we are concerned for one another, we look out for one another and we are aware of the needs of each other. And we do all of that under the loving plan and the loving care of God himself. <music>